Hey, what is up guys? Tone here, and today we're going to be checking out Edifice of Fiends. Uh, the dev of this game showed it to me the other day. Um, this game actually just came out a few days ago. And it looks kind of cool, so I wanted to check it out. And since I have a feeling that they might be watching this, I thought we would do a blind, unspoiled playthrough. Because, um, I don't know, I got feedback from a lot of developers that kind of like that kind of thing. It's very valuable to see someone um, playing the game for the first time, so... I'm uh, just looking at the Steam page real quick. Um, the description's pretty brief on here. Um, it says, Every choice matters as you try to fight your way to the top of the Edifice of Fiends. Um, over 20 floors to conquer. Slay your enemies with more than 15 different skills. Exciting combat with over 40 unique enemies. Customize your loadout with more than 80 different equipable items. Random, randomly generated floors. Challenging gameplay. Endless play styles and possibilities. So this is a non-traditional roguelike. Um, it seems to have kind of a um, top-down grid-based dungeon exploration deal, but then when you get into combat, it looks like it's a JRPG um, style combat, um, which I think is really cool. I haven't played a, a game like that in a while, but it really tickles the nostalgia muscle in my brain because as a kid, I loved um, mostly on Super Nintendo and then like PlayStation, like all these JRPGs, like... Um, some of the Final Fantasy games and um, Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana and all that good stuff. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that adapted to a you know procedurally generated, randomized, um, every playthrough is unique, roguelike style of gameplay. So definitely interested to see what this game's about. I'm using a controller here, which I didn't see a controller configuration here. Um, I don't know if there's a run button. I'm just going to turn always on. Seems like it's probably good usability. I'm not sure what command remember is. That might be the last thing you did in combat, I'm guessing. All right, we're probably good here in the options. One thing I noticed right off the bat is I couldn't find a way to leave <laughs> to exit the game. Um, I don't see a, an exit thing from here. If I hit escape, it wasn't doing anything, so... I don't know if uh, I'm missing that or if there's a, another way. All right, I did the tutorial already. And actually, it made me pick a class. Well, these are random tips every every run. Max amount of gold you can carry is 500. All items except for gold bars sell for half their purchase price. Sun combatants are unable to evade attacks. Poison persist after battle, okay. Um, okay, so it. I, I after I did the tutorial, which was just a really quick combat tutorial, um, I picked our class. So basically, there were four types: there was warrior, hunter, um, berserker, and knight. And then it told you. Let's see, we have like stats here. Basically, the other di the only difference was they either had neutral, plus, 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 or minus, minus, minus. On attack, defense, stamina, dexterity, agility, and evasion. And if memory serves, attack does more damage on hit. Defense, um, you take less damage on hits. Um, stamina, we'll talk about that in a second. Dexterity increases your chance to critical hit. Agility is your chance... I don't remember if there's a chance to hit. I think agility made you move faster in combat or act faster in combat. Dexterity might also be your chance to hit, but it mentions about criticals. And evasion is your chance to evade or dodge attacks. Um, so the hunter was... Minus attack, minus defense, plus agility, plus evasion, I think. I thought it'd be fun to do something, something interesting. So something like that. Although, all of our stats look equal here. I'm not sure what these stats on the right are. What is stat training? How does this work? Okay, I can't do anything right. Or yet. Cost. Okay, so it looks like we can, like, put... Um, points into here. 15 TP, 5 TP. Interesting, okay. So maybe that's what the plus plus and the minuses are. It's really hard for us to level up attack and defense, and a lot easier for us to level up these. That must be what that affected. But yeah, it's got a clean UI here. Um, I, I like the pixel art a lot. So we get a little starter kit here, stamina push and health push and antidote. So how stamina works, I guess we can figure this out. I don't know how every level looks. 
what did, we, what did the Steam page say? Like 20 plus levels or 20 levels? So I don't know if it's like one fight per level. So I'm really curious to see how it goes after this fight. But um, this thing is going to bring us into a combat. So yeah, it's a JRPG style combat system. Uh, I think what's kind of interesting here is that the... And I kind of like this because you think it'd be jarring. The the enemies have a complete... Or they're not pixel art. They have a different style to the, the character in the background, which is... Um, it's kind of cool how you can blend these different art styles, but still have everything, like, cohesive. We have the Stinger, some kind of bee here. So we have hit points and stamina, so it costs stamina to attack. Um, and then once you run out of stamina, you can do dodging and guarding and then recovery. And each one of those gives you a different evasion chance or chance to, like, block attacks. And then recover some stamina. And, like, well, here we can just look at this. So dodging gives 50% evasion, and you recover... Double the like base stamina. Guard is only 25% block, but it gives you times three stamina. Recover it gives you no block, but three and a half stamina. Um, you can also focus. So your next attack has increased accuracy, crit rate. Focus can be broken. Um, so the way the tutorial kind of taught you to use this was when the enemy was out of stamina, you want to focus. And then this was new. This wasn't in the. Um, tutorial prepares to counter attack enemy attacks. 80% chance you always block on counter and you do 100% damage. I wonder if that could be higher than your hit rate. That's kind of interesting. And we just have this item. So let's fight the stinger. Not much else to do. Okay, so that guy used over half of its stamina on us. Enemies have to deal with stamina as well. They poisoned us. I don't know if it's worth using our antidote right away. Let's 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 chill a little bit and see how the poison works. I'm wondering if this guy's gonna re if that's his only attack. I bet he has more attacks. Let's just attack him normally. So yeah, now he uses sting. So like how the tutorial kind of trained you to do this is now that this guy can't attack next turn, so using focus can be valuable. And I don't know how crit rates work in this game yet. But you saw there's a break on there. I think if they hit you while you're focusing, there's a chance you break focus. So if they are attacking, you're potentially wasting it. So we have an attack up labeled there next to our name. Oh, we got a big old crit off there. And we won that fight. So that tip just told us that poison will persist after the fight. So I'm wondering how much damage we're going to do. We gained 8 experience. We got 12 gold as a drop. Uh, it doesn't look like we are poisoned anymore. I don't see any indicator there. Um, no TP there. What are our experiences? Oh, XP 80%. Cool. Let's just go up. Notice the merchant and torch on the left. These are key aspects of the edifice. Merchant allows you to sell your items for half price and buy items essential to... Hmm, we got some cutoff text there. The torch allows you to save your progress, but costs more and more to use every floor. Oh, so it seems like we have some kind of potential... Um, ...save system where... I guess if it costs something to use, like it has an in-game cost, it's probably more like an Amulet of Life-Saving sort of deal. I'm guessing. Maybe if we lose, we'll, we'll come back here. But we have to pay something here to do that first. I see some axes on the bottom of the screen, so I wonder if we're going to weapon here. How much gold do we have? 142. Also, use it to split trunks for wood. Interesting. Loses durability with use. Uh, pickaxe. All these are dig into ore and find metal. Interesting. So we can, like, farm resources to sell, I guess. I don't know if there's a crafting system in the game. It looks like these don't actually do damage either. Hmm, it only costs 20 gold. That doesn't sound that bad. Ten gold. Up ahead, you'll see several different shops. Every floor is three random shops, and these shops change every run. Plan accordingly. Okay, so these are shops. Huh. Okay, so these are like actual weapons.
So this is attack plus three, agility minus two. And I can see on the right, it's showing that stat. Although it's weird, this one has plus four attack and minus two agility on the top, but it only shows minus one agility on the right. So I don't know if my stats, the way they're reflected, aren't exactly what the weapon um, shows for some reason. So basically it looks like these axes get minus agility, but big attack bonuses. Maybe that's an axe thing. There's probably like other types of weapons. Now that might work with our character because we can overcome the agility um, deficits pretty quickly um, because we, at our, on our stats screen, we were able to train agility much easier than attack. But also maybe you just want to play into agility and not take minuses to it. That's what these other shops have. Little defensive advantage. These are helms, plus defense, minus agility. Looks like the colors correspond roughly to the grade there. A little rating system. And these wizard hats give you evasion. Neat. Here we got an item shop. Restores the durability of weapon or armor. I wonder if all weapons and armor have durability. That's interesting. I wonder how that balances in this game. Cures poison, heals health, and restores stamina. Wow. I wonder if these shops always have the same weapons or if the contents are organized as well. So how much money do we have? And I have 39 hit points. Oh, we don't gain HP or SP outside of combat. So I think our priority is to heal that stuff. That also makes a little bit of a strategy in combat to try and restore your your SP if you're not going to get hit next turn or something. Something to keep in mind. So that's 8 SP heal, 16 and 32. So stamina potions like like way better than just the energy boost. So what am I missing now? 11 and 35. I feel like we could probably survive the next combat without needing health. And instead of like overhealing or wasting gold on a smaller potion, I'm not going to buy a health potion here. We do have one in our inventory, I think. Uh, but I think we want to recover our stamina between fights. And 13 gold does not seem that bad. And it seems pretty... Ch I mean, we only got 12 gold from that last fight, too. These objects on the left and right are mining spots. Every floor has four random mining spots, which change every turn. Okay, so I was curious where we mine. Let's try the mining thing. Should we put all of our money into the pickaxe? Probably not, let's grab this axe. Split that. We got three pieces of wood. Can be used as forging material or sold at a very low price. Okay, so I guess we can't, we don't want to sell this. Two gold each, yeah, it was not really worth it for selling, so we'll hold to see what forging does. Um, in that case, let's buy some gear, because I feel like this could help us a lot in the upcoming fights. Dude, this is grade F+, and it's plus 10 evasion, which sounds pretty sweet. Although, huge defense at like minus 2 agility, which we can overcome, sounds pretty good. I think we might want to play into one of those. And we can level up evasion and then have defense from our armor. Alright, so we have 109 coins. You know what? The, the rusty axe costs exactly 109. I, I think it's just meant to be. 
Go ahead and equip that. And that's all we bought, right? There's an even optimized button there, that's pretty cool. Sweet. Oh, let's use our, our energy potion. So we don't have to use that in combat. Alright, we got pretty good HP and energy. Let's see how this next combat goes. So it seems like the structure is fight and then like management and then fight. That's a pretty cool game loop so far, especially when you have um, like these mining things. It looks like there's different options to use. I kind of I like that so far. All right, a widow. We got some kind of spider here. All right, venom is for two damage. I wonder if that's gonna do two damage a turn. Wonder how long that lasts. Like when it becomes better to use an antidote potion. I, I think you want it. It's best to do your healing outside of combat, though, if you can help it. This guy's like almost out of SP. I wonder if he's going to use another attack, or if we should use like the big focus. Let's go for the focus and hope he has to recharge. Now he's going to attack us. Oh, he like stunned us. Wow. You just got so many turns. Well, we still didn't lose much hit points. <laughs> Do we go for the big focus again? I'm going for it. All in on the focus play. Yeah, I can see he had to recover. Oh, he's just like way faster than us. Okay, that's not gonna work then. Let's just attack then. Oh my god, who... <laughs> you mean we could have just attacked him like that this whole time? Dude, that axe. Don't underrate that. Alright, we leveled up. Okay, so all our stats did go up automatically. Good deal. And we got additional agility and evasion. I wonder if that's because we are a hunter. 15 gold. Each time you level up, you gain AP and TP points. You can use these to train your stats or learn new abilities. Cool. I gotta say, I love character progression systems too. Um, it seems like this might have a, a good amount of that. Okay, so stat training. We have seven, no, we have 25 TP. See, defense and attack are really hard to level up. Like, we could, like, really crank up the evasion here. Do I want, I want to go, like, really heavy into the evasion. Let's do this, and then raise our... HP was harder to recover after combat than SP. I guess that doesn't matter. I guess if we can fully recover outside of combat reliably, which we haven't had gold to do that all the time, and we want to do that, so you almost... But assuming you could, which might be the ideal position to be in, then you want your max HP to be high enough to survive combat, and same thing with the SP, which we don't know what that number is. Oh, these only go up by one. It almost feels better to get those by leveling up. All right, we're just going all in on the evasion for now then. We start evading some attacks. Right, how do we train skills? Learn skills. So we have one AP. Okay, we can't... Oh no, cost to learn is one. So I guess this blue cost is probably the SP cost. Quick jab that does not use up your turn. Does it mean I can just keep using that? Turn plus one. That's really interesting. Air damage. Random attack. That looks pretty good overall. It's over 100% on average. What does our base attack use? Was it like 10 SP? I wasn't paying attention. It's all enemies. Finds an opening in the enemy and strikes, ignoring a lot of their defense. 
Randomly strikes twice for less damage. This attacks one enemy twice. That seems really good. Cripples does extra damage and reduces a bunch of their stats by 16% for 6-8 turns. That's pretty cool. Stunning Strike. Now, this sounds cool. For 1-3 to three turns. Ooh, I like that. It uses a ton of SP, though. Three strikes at 90%. So these are all using high SP. I'll stick to the low SP stuff for now. Light attack sounds pretty sweet just for like finishing an enemy off. I'm gonna grab that. Counter is 10 and focus is 5. So those use our SP. I didn't realize that. It's good to know. Alright, what do you have this time? Same stuff. 18 gold. Oh, so we got like 30 gold because of that drop too. What is this? Oh, just like a free upgrade? I'll take five more evasion. We got like a wish ninja? Awesome. All right, there's an enemy. Find some wood. All right, I only have 33 gold now. So shield, same deal, plus defense, minus agility. Same thing as the helms. Bracers are just straight up defense. Oh, I have some daggers now. These are just an attack up with little agility. Minus, interesting. And these are all the same helms, cool. Dark Veil, plus five more evasion. We'll save up for more stuff. Uh, we want to heal, though. Oh, there's no item shop this time. These shops are random. I forgot about that. I wonder if we need the stamina potion. We should probably use it. I wonder what our axe um, durability is. All right, I guess that's all we get to do. Let's see what this next combat's like. An imp. They stole our money. Now this guy has no SP. <laughs> do we go in on the... <laughs> on the focus again? I'm all in. I'll never learn my lesson. All right. So, so they were fast enough to gain stamina and use their steel attack again. But that didn't break our focus. So now we go for the big attack. Oh, yeah. I don't have enough stamina for my normal attack. I think that costs 10. Wait. Is that a, that's a dodge? It matches the dodge symbol here. So if they're dodging this turn, sh I should recover as well, right? Let's try this. Do I get my money back after this fight? Curious how this works. I think we can just finish them off with the quick strike. The light attack. It's cheaper. We missed. Let's keep using that. Two damage. Sometimes it's all you need. Alright, we did not level up. Oh, we did not get our gold back. I was thinking of games like the, the Thieves and Slay the Spire and stuff where you get your gold back. So, we gained 10 gold, but we are at minus 10 because they stole 20 from us. Net minus 10. So you're supposed to kill them fast, which we probably could have done if we wanted to. Good to know. We are learning. Ooh, 32 gold. That's nice. What is this? Shoes? I guess it's like a clothing. That's like a little wardrobe down there. Ooh, plus agility.
Plus agility and plus evasion. Dark treads. And these shops are the same. Wait, did I check out the spear last time? What do these give? Plus attack and plus agility. Ooh, okay. I think our, our axe build is pretty good so far. I, I want to save money for consumables again now. Although I wouldn't mind having some agility. What's the rest of the axe do? Minus three agility, like we can counter that. Hmm. All right. You can't be barefoot in a dungeon like this. There's a ring slot. I haven't seen one of those yet. I wonder how the offhand works. Can we equip two weapons? That's interesting as well. Alright, keep chopping that wood. We'll figure out what to do with the wood at some point. Three, heck yeah. Alright, let's fight this guy. The bronze beetle. Alright, let's just attack this guy and see what happens. Okay, so this guy, he used his own focus. Oh, my SP. Okay, so I have, I have two lines of thought here. First, I was going to use our skill, our light attack, so we could attack more than once, and then maybe break his focus with multiple attacks. But I, I could light attack twice here. Actually, that's what I... Okay, and the other option is we could try and dodge this attack. But how about this? I could light attack twice, have zero spell, um, skill points left, and then try to dodge. So I broke his focus there already. And I don't have enough um, points here to attack normally. So now I can go into my skills. Let's go for the stamina times three. With the guard, 25% block. He didn't even attack. This is like a slow, heavy-shelled guy. Completely different than the last two guys we fought. Which were like very fast. Just attack normally. We missed. All that evasion is paying off. Oops, I can't do anything here. Do I want to do a full recover? Actually, three and, a half, three and a half stamina isn't that much better than three. Let's, just, let's do a guard. But yeah, I was going to lean into that evasion and not worry about the guard since he missed anyways. I don't know if that miss chance is the guard chance, or if that's our evasion missing. I assume we get a different message otherwise. I don't think we finish this guy off with a quick strike or a light attack, so I'm going to attack normally. Yo, this guy is missing a lot. He's got to recharge right now. I think we try to re recover our skill points here. And we're faster than him. Yeah, look at that. That was free. So now we don't have to try and do that out of combat or in the next combat. We just got a free skill point recharge. Then we attack him and finish him. That was a good call. Sweet, we leveled up again. We got here only four max HP this time. No defense or stamina, but plus one to everything else. We learned a skill. Okay, so you don't have to, I wonder if we still have to purchase that with AP or if that's just free. 21 gold from the drop. What did we learn? Oh, there it is. Fury attack. Randomly strikes six times. It uses 60 SP. Wow. That's a cool random find. So that's less damage than a, 
attacking six times normally, but it happens all at once. Very cool. All right, let's train some stats. I have 27 TP. I, I, we gotta go all in on the evasion, right? Like it was really paying off in that last round. If nothing can hit us, then we win. All right. Same old dude. 40 gold. Dude, no item shot. What's our HP at? 39. Another reason to go all in on the evasion. 63 gold, huh? Could get like a helm. Oh, the Shadow Veil plus 10 evasion. That's what I, I've been, I wanted it last time. Put on that hat. 36 evasion. Chop some wood. Ooh, the axe broke. And we got one AP. I could get another skill. I feel like this sweep attack will be valuable. Stunning strike sounds incredible too. Like you don't you could use this and then just like recover hit points or Points for a turn or two. Skill points. Let's start with the sweep strike. I, we haven't seen more than one enemy, but I feel like that's going to be very valuable if we do. Greater imp. Oh no. Did I spend all my money? The imps are an incentive to use all your money, aren't they? How much gold do I have left? Alright, we got, we, we got to kill this guy as fast as possible. With that in mind, do I light attack? Let's see how much damage this does. Ooh, not a lot. This this is greater. Well, let's just attack and see what happens. Okay. This guy has a counter up. No, they have a dodge up. Let's burn the dodge with a light attack. Oh. Oh, let's just attack normally. They did miss that time. I should have just used a normal attack. I thought it would only last for one turn. I guess it's until their next action. Alright, we're burning. I don't know if that's like poison where it, it persists between combats. I'm going to assume that it doesn't. Oh, this is a great time to be out of skill points, huh? Let me try the full recover. It's 21. Yeah, due to rounding, that was 21 instead of 19. I think maintaining the 25% dodge chance is good there. This guy doesn't have enough skill points to do anything. So we're gonna recover again. I'm gonna do the guard in case they get a second attack though. Which they did, and we did not dodge. Alright, let's attack. Alright, not bad. Our health is getting low, though. We need to restore our health. 13 gold. I don't think they actually stole any from us. Floor 6. Um, there's a different... We're getting higher up in this edifice, I guess. There's a different color here. Oh, for a second I thought we could go back down. Wait, look at this. This is a different map. Interesting. This guy again. 16 experience or 16 hit points. That's like a, a whole fight's worth of experience or so, right? It's pretty good. 
16 hit points is a lot, though. Let's grab this. Especially if it gives us hit points now. Which it did. Which we need. Because we only had 24. That's close to being able to heal. 79 gold. So these are flat attack ups, which is pretty awesome. Oh, and some of these give attack and agility. And some of these give attack and defense. I think we save our money. Um, do we want to chop wood? We don't even know what that does, so we'll wait. Scorpion. Didn't we fight one of these before? This might have been the tutorial enemy. I forget. Right, let's just attack normally and see what happens. Ooh, he had like a double strike. He hit us twice. And he's very tanky. Can we just keep attacking here? He's dodging. If he's dodging, I'm gonna dodge too. Or guard. Oh, he's too slow. <laughs> he only has a 25% chance to block. I'm gonna guard again. Oh shoot, he's stunned. He's doing a ton of damage to us. Covering. Can we kill him in one more hit? I hope so. Yikes. Use that light attack. I feel like I'd I would want or I I would like to have more transparency in their health and SP values, or at the very least their health. The start of the fight, so you can kind of gauge. I don't know if I didn't see if there was like an inspect or something so we can see like their stats a little bit but it'd nice, be nice to know what you're up against all right i don't want anything up here we really need to heal this floor has like a statue over there i wonder what that does Ooh, get more gold oh yes a, a potion shop forge all right Now we can use our wood. So nothing uses only wood, okay. I guess we should have been mining ore this whole time too. There's only one ore thing here, so if I even though I bought an axe here, we wouldn't be able to make much use of it. I have 169 gold. I think we buy lots of consumables. Oh, I bet you these are offhand items. Which is pretty awesome, actually. I wonder how good 0.6 accuracy is. I feel like I need to go all in on consumables here. Big ones are the most cost effective. What does this one give? 16 health, 16 SP, and cures poison. So the 16 health is 30, and the 16 SP is 9. Ooh, how does durability work? I should look at my items. I wonder if I need this repair hammer. Oh, I didn't even notice this thing down here. Remember to grant longevity to those who stand in it. Save plus one. So it gives us a save point. Let's buy a bunch of life potions. And yes, I could have just like ticked that up there. 
but I wanted to buy them individually. And I probably need to use one of those right now. I can sell all our wood for 22 gold. I don't think we need to. We can, we can basically trade life for SP anyways in combat. I don't know how often that's worthwhile, but it is an option. A bat. Echolocation. So yeah, I don't see a way to inspect them. I wonder what that, that means. I wonder if they can't see me unless they do that. Or if that gives them like an attack bonus. Maybe my evasion is being nullified right now. Am I being hard countered by a freaking bat? We'll find out. Let's just attack normally. He missed. Venom bite. Double venom bite. I'm out of SP. He is out of SP as well. I'm gonna do a full recover. Yes, keep missing bat. All right, so we can attack now. Ooh, what was that? He just drained my SP, that was rude. Guard. Stamina leech. Jeez. Oh my god, he's tanky too. This guy does not mess around. I need to I just need to recover a bunch of SP right now. Life leech. Did he just heal off of that? Also rude. Alright, let's attack. But he keeps stealing our stamina. I wonder if we just want to dodge. Because he's going to steal our stamina anyways. Just dodge attack, dodge attack. Is like what we want to do here. Dodge, like, reduces the odds that he'll steal stamina or health from us. This guy is brutal. I still don't know what echolocation does. Alright, he stole our stamina. Die, please. Oh my god, he's not dead yet. We have to dodge one more time. Alright, we're going in on the light attacks. Cool. Oh, that was rough. Ooh, 20 XP that we leveled up. Level 4. We learned Blade Storm. That sounds cool. Another 4 hit points. Some more stats. Cool, cool, cool. So HP is hard to heal, so I see where defense becomes very valuable here. I wonder if we're better off training defense or just like equipping better armor. This costs 30. <laughs> I think that answers that. We equip armor and then if that gives us minus dex or whatever, then we increase those stats separately, I think. We, we were missing a lot against that guy. I think some decks would help. We could probably chill on the evasion for a bit. I think we're getting a little unbalanced here. Um, see what that new skill does. 75 SP. Strikes a chosen enemy with a flurry of attacks. Sacred. 450% damage. Ooh. Although... It costs a lot more than four and a half attacks. But it's all in one turn. I wonder what Sacred does. I don't know why I keep talking to that guy. He only has the same thing every time. 67 gold, what are we at? 101? No Wish Ninjas. No Armor Shop. 
at 24.64. So... 54.60 health. Okay, I should use my healing potion then. I, I don't waste any of it. Um, okay, it's only 32 anyways. Cool. I was thinking it was 36. 8, 16, 32, I think were the increments there. Oh, durability. Okay, 3, 13, and 9. Does that mean after 3 hits we lose that? Or if I do need to buy something. Okay, these are like plus accuracy. Let's see if our money and buy something next floor. Let's track our durability. I wonder if that's how many combats you get or how many like attacks you get. Must be combats, right? Oh, we had three, nine, and like eleven with all our items. Goblin. It's a sweet goblin uh graphic. Hmm, I only have nine SP. We just try to dodge a super focus attack. Let's try to break it with a light attack first. Which we did. Then I'll go for a guard. Since it's a less punishing attack. Oh no, you're stealing my gold. We can't have that. Let's see how much health he has. Probably have to hit him like three or four times. He's out of SP right now. I'm do a full recover. I missed. Love to see that. How does counter work? 80% chance, 100% to block on counter, and does 100% damage on counter. So he's been attacking like twice. I wonder if that's good. Like right now he's probably going to recover then attack us. Let's try it. We still have our encounter up. It probably goes away if I do anything else though, right? What happens if I recover now? I don't even need to recover. Let's just attack. Oh, okay. It is the number of attacks. On the bright side, I think our agility just went up. Let's see if I can kill him with a light attack. Our, actually, our damage sucks now, doesn't it? He has a dodge up. It's card. Sweet, we missed. Or he missed. Well, we do like no damage now. So another bonus to killing enemies faster is that your item durability lasts longer. That's actually huge. Getting plus damage is is pretty good. Um, that is a flaw in our, our evasion stack here. I'm gonna try and focus. Because we knew where he was gonna recover that turn. Let's see if we can get a crit here. My god, he's not dead. I can't light attack. Go for the, the dodge. Again? Oh my god. What a fight. Huh, <laughs> we have exactly as much gold as we started. Um, should I buy a weapon here then? Probably, right? Odds are there's a weapon shop on the next floor since there's like three of them, but if they're not, we're kind of screwed. I think we need to buy something. I want something with like good accuracy. The axes don't fit our play style.
Although we just talked about how good having plus attack is. I could get plus four attack, minus two agility. Plus five attack, plus one defense, minus four agility. There's value in these these accuracy numbers too, though. Dude, let's let's YOLO on the next floor. We'll have more money, so we could potentially buy more stuff. An emerald. Okay, and there's a sword stack here. And also, I don't think we've seen this shop before. Oh my god, 18 evasion. I got an emerald. Can I build anything now? Is that just something to sell? A rare type of currency. I can't sell it here. I wonder what it's for. gold. We have to buy a weapon. My hit points are high enough that I don't want to heal. Oh, what do you have? More evasion? Dude, it's hard to say no to five evasion. Like, that's more impactful than plus one attack, right? I wonder if this is balanced per our, our training re requirements, because I think it cost me 25 TP for attack and five for evasion. 5 TP. So with 25 TP, I could get either one of these normally. Let's go with the attack. I think we need to raise our attack. And we just leveled up, didn't we? So I can actually train as well. I think I want to start raising our agility. Because everything gives us minus agility. Dex and Agility. And we have more AP. This ignores defense, which is probably valuable against defensive targets. Um, let's go with the Stunning Strike. I think that could be fun. Right, we have to get a decent weapon. Plus six attack and plus accuracy. That sounds pretty sick. Plus four attack, plus one agility, plus two accuracy. Plus attack, plus defense, and plus accuracy. It's less accuracy. When you're looking at like less than 1%, it doesn't sound amazing. But um, plus defense from here seems pretty sweet. There's a lot of sources of defense with armor and stuff, though. Let's uh, just go on in the attack and accuracy here. And actually, what's my equipment look like? Seven durability, three durability. We're about to lose our treads. What is this, Cogmind? <laughs> Dark treads, I love it. Evasion and agility is about to go down. We got a really sharp sword, though. And a life pot and a lot of wood. All right. We need to buy a, a pickaxe and see how mining and crafting works. I right, got a white worm. Thing looks spooky. Just need SP more than anything. Just go up and do a, a big old guard. Poison spray. Lots of things like to poison you. Let's do a recover. Lead into our evasion. 
didn't work that time. But I'm going to... Stunning Strike this dude. It only did three damage. Oh, we forgot to equip our weapon! Shoot. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, he's stunned. That means attacks always hit. Our tread's broke. We're, we're, we're gonna die in this fight because I forgot to equip my weapon. This is not good. Let's guard. Dude, it's gonna take us forever to kill this thing. Oh, I haven't looked at this screen before. Last two to four turns. Cool. So is that two or three damage per turn? I wonder if he's gonna item actually uses a turn or not. Actually, let's find out. Uses heal life potion. does. Oh boy. Just keep attacking this guy for three damage. This is brutal. At least we took that plus one attack from the, the ninja. So if we have plus one attack, then I wonder if light attack works better due to rounding. Go for a full recover and maybe just pummel him with light attacks. Now that only does one damage. Our regular attack is better. Alright, I'm gonna recover again. I wanna keep our stamina high. Let's counter. I guess if he misses, you don't get the counter. Counter has been bad that. Two times I tried using it. All right, let's recover. Just keep attacking. I feel like I need to get lucky with a focus or something. Recover again. Focus. Attack is up. Do I have any big attacks? Go, going with the big stunning strike. 125% damage. Nice. Get that crit. He didn't get stunned though, unfortunately. Keep recovering and relying on our evasion. Am I burning now, too? Awesome. I'm gonna keep trying focusing. I think we have to use crit since I don't have a weapon. He broke our focus. Regular attack, that's all I have the skill points for. I don't even know if Antidote's worth it. Because he's just going to reapply it, right? I think we just need to... And we're going to die, like, really soon here. Um, I need, like, one more good focus and attack or something. Or maybe, like, two normal attacks. Let's use guard. Oof. Defeated on 4-9. We would have won that fight if I quit that sword. That was a huge misplay. Although, I was going to take a break after that battle anyway, so it's actually a good stopping point. That was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if that combat keeps interesting over many playthroughs, or it seemed like there was a lot we didn't get to like really explore, like the, the forging system. Um, I do like the cycle in that game of 
combat, then like management, whether that includes items and leveling up and learning skills and mining and doing all that stuff and then going to their combat. That's a really effective um, game loop. Um, I'm curious how many floors there are and how things evolve. Um, it was cool going on in the evasion, but it seemed like that was giving us problems later. I'm definitely interested to try this again now that I know some of the game mechanics better and how things work. I think I can form some better strategies, so I'll probably be checking out a few more runs of this. I don't know if I'll do videos of them or not. Probably play some off channel, but um, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, this game just came out. If you're into this, uh, like I said, the the nostalgia for me is really cool with the the JRPG system. I thought it was pretty cool. This is not a traditional roguelike, obviously, but um, it is a non traditional roguelike with procedural generation, and it seems like there's some cool strategy between levels and stuff, and that's the kind of stuff I like in games and in games like this. So. Um, it's pretty cool. So I'll drop a Steam link below. It was a pretty reasonable price. I think it's on sale right now. So probably a good time to check it out if you're interested in something like this. Um, but otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. And thank you all for watching.